Marshall tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. They give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep That'll bring up third and eight. He rifles it to the right. Intercepted. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's third and long. Ball on the 46-yard line. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Tackle at the 49. That's a loss of That makes it fourth and long. See if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. It's the tailback. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Makes it to the 47. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Right back to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. That brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 43-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. Loss of 10 yards on the way. That'll bring up third and long. it fly brought down around the 23 yard line a lot of fast receivers can be one dimensional but he's been working with his coaches to become more competent as a route runner his progression has been very impressive
So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Number 46 brings him down at the 20-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. He makes it to the 18-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. Third and six. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's taken down at the four-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. And down he goes around the five-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up second and goal. They're at the five. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it This is the 11th play of this drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. So they're going to go for it here. I got you, 88. I got you. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still ready. Oh, oh, oh. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 71 yard drive. And they put up seven points. So our score, seven nothing. Virginia Tech to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hokies really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled at the 36. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. QQ! And he's level at the 25. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. Third down. Look, he's kill, kill, Brandon. There are three quarters remaining. Virginia Tech's lead is a touchdown. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. at the 50-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers.
And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. Number 58 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quick. He's got another one. Brought down in the open field. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 20, and he hits him hard at the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Knocked out of bounds around the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Marshall! Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Marshall is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He fights forward to about the 26. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. Gets out to around the 35. Scrambling around. He's wrapped up for the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 34. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Number 96 brings him down. That'll make it third and 13. It's third and 13. Ball on the 32 yard line. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Here they come. He's going to air it long. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Fourth and 13. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He's taken down at the 38. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. I got him, I got him. 
He makes his way to about the 42. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. The option gets them a yard at best. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. Marshall's going to use their first time out of the half here. Hit on the throw. He caught it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Marshall will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down to the 38-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. That was a loss of four yards. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He zips it out to the left. Got it to the senior. That's the second catch for six he's registered today. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Here they come. Receivers got the first down. Brought down around the 38-yard line. He's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Virginia Tech will take their second time out of the half. It's second and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. He scrambled. And down he goes at about the 43-yard line. He's on the run. They bring their quarterback down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. 
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Marshall's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Makes it out to about the 36. That's, That's good, good for a game of 10 yards. First, First down. down. Marshall is Landed. up by a touchdown. Landed. Under heavy pressure. Fires out to his receiver. And he is drilled at the 47. First down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a game of 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. Dropped. <laughs> That makes it second and ten. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Nice run there. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 17-7, Marshall. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these quarterbacks took several hits in the first half. The pass rush having its way with the protection so far. Now, everybody says throw some screens at them, slow down the pass rush. Does that really work in yeah. the defensive mindset? No, it does because, you know, as an offensive lineman, they're still going to set the same and make it look like pass, and you naturally just fly up the field to try to go get the quarterback because you've been doing it all game, and then you slip in a screen or you slip in a draw right behind them. It, it makes you think, and it makes you honor that. You know what else helps, Reese? You run the football a little bit. I mean, you pass it a bunch. I know a pass is coming. I mean, it makes it pretty – that's pretty simple. Defensive guys are hitting the head a lot, and they're not the brightest, but they do know that. You keep doing it. We're going to keep pinning our ears back and coming back after the quarterback. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Makes it out to about the 40. That's a game of 15 in the ball. First down. Slam, slam, slam. Fires out to his wide end, and he's hit immediately. That'll make it second and inches. Hey, hey, Black hey, hey, alert cat, alert cat. Check 99, check 99. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. 
first down. down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to slide. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Kill, 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 kill. Check 99. Check 99. Makes it out to about the 13. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. And a quick throw. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Marshall's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Call it again, three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. midfield he gets out to about the 44 yard line that was a great call yeah here you see the draw play at its best the tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards first and ten ball on the 44 yard line and he's hit before he can go anywhere at the 20 and they make the stop right around the 20. It's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Makes it out to maybe the 19 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second From the 17-yard line, it's second down. Quick 
pass. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Virginia Tech gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Marshall's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into the position and being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he's tackled at the 31. That makes it first and ten. Easy, easy. Kill, kill. Yellow eight. Check 99. Cheetah, cheetah. Check 99. First down, Graham. He's hit and taken down. First down. Down. Black down. Motion, motion, hey, motion backfield, motion Going deep, lays it out there. That close to being intercepted. Boy, this is a great Number play seven. by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. He's on the run. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Woo! He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And down he goes at the 26. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 39. We've reached quarter number four, and right now it looks like we may have an upset. 31-10, Marshall. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. I just go 29. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. That's a great tackle at the 44 yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at about the 47 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Hey, we got Todd Wright. 
from the 45-yard line. Second down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Go. Alert, alert, alert. Cat, cat, cat. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Him hard the 39 yard line. That'll be a two yard gain. Usually, you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's at the 30, they'll bring him down at about the 29 yard line. He's immediately tackled. That makes it second. It's the ninth play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 21-yard line. No gain. That'll bring up 32. Hey, check my 46. He scrambles, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He makes the PAT. <laughs> Tackle at the 44. Marshall's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at the 30. There's a fumble. The offense scoops it up. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. So the offense is very lucky to keep possession of the ball. I think he was looking upfield and trying to look for some room to run, but he forgot about the football. And he's level at the 13-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Just under two minutes in the game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. We've got a second and five. Ball on the eight. Touchdown, Marshall! Marshall's staff is so lucky they got a multi-dimensional quarterback. Nothing is more dangerous to a defense than dealing with a quarterback that can run and throw. This time, he uses his feet to get into the end zone for a crucial touchdown in this game. And he converts the extra point. Marshall is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Number 
and 36 on the tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it 7 and 10. And he stops the clock with a spike. That brings us 3rd and 10. From their own 23-yard line, 3rd down. Check my 46. I go! 164! Knocked out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. A little over a minute in the game. That quickly incomplete. Passes to the back, incomplete. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Slings it. He's taken down around the 12 yard line. Spikes the ball. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick throw. Under pressure. Quick strike and he drops it. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. That brings us fourth and seven. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. I think they had to go for it, given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Yardage on that run. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Marshall's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happier. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.